Welcome back. For over 50 years, Holy Angels has been a staple here in the Belmont community. It's an organization built on the foundation of mercy and love. I recently took a trip there, and I have to say, love is all of that I felt. Why yes. do I feel love here? Well, because that's what we do here. We love people, and they love us back. And most importantly, the people that we serve who have very severe intellectual developmental disabilities and who are medically fragile, many of them can't talk. Many of them maybe can't even move a body part, but they can show love and give love. And really what we say here is that Holy Angels is a place of loving, living, and learning for the differently able. And we provide unconditional love and unlimited possibilities. What programs do you have here at Holy Angels? Well, Holy Angels has a continuum of services that began back when we started as a nursery in 1955. to today where we have an array of services from special education. We have a school program here for our school aged children. We have a very unique and very um, uh, special uh, health care center in which we provide for the medical needs of our residents round the clock 24-7, 365. And the reason we have that is many of those uh, individuals would require hospital care if we didn't have that as a kind of a safety net and a stopping point before going to the hospital because so many of our folks have very severe disabilities and multiple medical issues. So that's a unique program that we have here. We also have a very neat place called the Snoozeland Room, and you'll get a chance to see that. It stands for sniffing and dozing, and it's a place of relaxation and leisure. And so because many of our people can't get to places like you and I, they um, depend on us to bring the environments to them. Uh, we have a beautiful outside area called Push Place, and we just recently developed a, a sensory garden. We have a horticulture therapy program. We have spa therapy here on this campus. But most importantly, this, these, this is home for the many people that we serve and support at Holy Angels. Additionally, we have some uh, services for people who have mild to moderate disabilities. We have several businesses that we operate. We operate a cafe, a cotton candy factory, a gallery, and uh, a life choices program, which is for adults who have mild to moderate disabilities, many of whom live in the community and come to Holy Angels for day services and work opportunities. So we have a lot going on here. All right, so you create opportunities for people. We know many, in, many folks in our society would turn their back and give up on these people. Why is it important that we don't give up on people? Well, because these people are able. They're differently able. They do things differently from you or I, but they are very, very uh, willing and able to do what they can with the abilities that they have. And they bring a lot of joy and love to people. Um, in our uh, community, we're known as a place that people come and, and really experience love and really experience success. And isn't that what we all want is success in life? That's right, and it goes right back to love. It's a labor of love, I guess, is what I would say for all of us. But we're all called to this mission of mercy, and we're called to uh, take care of people who are perhaps maybe perceived as less fortunate. But I think sometimes they are more fortunate than, than us, and they're able to love unconditionally. And, and unconditional love. Mm -hmm. I, when we were there, when Brian and I, producer Brian and I were there, you heard the word love so many mm -hmm. times, so many times. It's a fantastic organization. That was Regina Moody. She's the CEO of Holy Angels, and it's a remarkable place. I liked it, unlimited it possibilities, too, unlimited when she said that. I thought that was really cool. Everyone is treated the same.